Systems of the human body. A video study guide for the GED science exam brought to you by GEDstudyguide.org. We are going to discuss four systems of the human body. the circulatory system, the respiratory system, the nervous system, and finally, the digestive system. The circulatory system. The function, to move the blood through the body. Blood is responsible for transporting oxygen and nutrients throughout the body. Major organ of the system, the heart. The heart is a muscle in the body that contracts in order to pump blood. Blood is transported through vessels from large arteries. Arteries are what blood passes through in order to get from the heart to the rest of the body. They are essentially a highway for your blood to travel through. Blood flows from arteries to capillaries to small veins, to large veins, which run throughout the body. The respiratory system. Function, the body's inhalations and exhalations. Oxygen from the air is taken in or inhaled through the mouth and passes into the lungs. Then it leaves the body or is exhaled in the form of carbon dioxide. Major parts of the system, lungs and trachea. The trachea is the long tube that runs from the mouth into two tubes called the bronchi. Each of the bronchi tubes branch out and enter one lung. The bronchi separate into smaller branches called the bronchioles. At the end of each bronchiole is a small sac called the alveolus. The nervous system. The function to receive, process, and transmit information and to control the body's activities. Major parts of the system brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Three important parts of the brain include the cerebrum, the cerebellum, and the brainstem. The cerebrum controls functions such as speaking, thinking, and seeing. The cerebellum coordinates movements and positions. And the brainstem controls heart rate and breathing. Information goes to and from the brain through nerves. The digestive system. Function, to break down food into nutrients so that energy can be produced and digestive waste can leave the body. Major parts of the system, the esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. The process of digestion begins in the mouth. Here, our food is chewed and broken down by our teeth into smaller pieces. Our saliva, or spit, breaks down these pieces chemically. Food then passes through the esophagus and into the stomach. Once in the stomach, these pieces are further broken down by enzymes and stomach acids. It then goes from the stomach into the small intestine. In the small intestine, most of the nutrients are absorbed by the blood through capillaries in the villi. What remains from the small intestine then passes into the larger intestine. The large intestine removes water, leaving behind only solid waste that then leaves the body through the rectum. For more information about the GED science exam, stop by gedstudyguide.org. Click the link below for your free subscription.